everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Python Drum. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you so much as always for all of the beautiful support that you guys have been showing this series. I truly do appreciate it my friends, I really, really do. Now the first thing we are doing in today's episode is we're going ahead and selling a bunch of stuff because guys, today is finally the day where we get ourselves some freaking wings. It is approaching night time. And upon night time rolling around, we can head over to the jungle and the witch doctor. And we can buy the wings for, I think it's one platinum. But I could be wrong. So, yes. Okay, so we've got ourselves a bunch of stuff going on. I mean, I mean, look at all this stuff now. We've got so much stuff. We've got a max skill going on here. There's lots of things going on. Uh, what do we have in here? Can we, like, sell these tungsten bullets? I don't think we're going to wind up using them again, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Ooh, poison darts. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, what can we get from everything we've got going on here? Wow, 29 silver. Was that worth it? Probably not, if I'm being totally honest. I'm excited, my friends. I'm excited to get myself some wings finally. We can maybe finally do away with the bundle of balloons. It was an enormous pain in the butt to get, but I tell you what, it has served us well. It has served us very, very well throughout this world, and I'm very, very excited to get some wings going on. Now, check it out, guys. We also have a summoner emblem. We can go and reforge that, maybe get menacing on it, get 19% increased minion damage with our blade staff. We can reforge the blade staff as well. There's so many things we can do, dudes. There's so many things we can do. It's actually kind of crazy when you think about it. So, over to the jungle we go. We're just about ready to see if we can get ourselves the leaf wings in a couple of seconds here. And we've got the destroyer about to come in. There's the leaf wings. 66 gold. Wow, that's actually nowhere near as expensive as I thought it would be. Kill. All right, so uh, our accessory set here is actually still looking kind of decent, so I don't think we need to worry too much about it. Uh, I will, of course, go ahead and continue to use the blade staff in addition to the other stuffs we've got going on. So I'll tell you what, uh, let's see if we can't get ourselves some buffs going on here. We will actually try to give this thing a proper go this time. Oh, man, just everything tells me I'm still not going to be able to take this guy. Oh, my God. Everything tells me I'm still not going to be able to take this guy out. You know, you know. Yeah, no. I don't know, dude. Yeah! Five of these bad boys. We are going to uh, buff ourselves up, and we're going to get this thing rolling. I want to see just how much damage these bad boys can do. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. See what we can do here. See what we can do. So we're using... Okay. Not too bad so far. Can't complain. Can't complain. Oh, snappers. Oh, snappity snappers. Come on. We are doing actually really quite good, if I'm being honest. Our health is still taking a little bit of a dip. But his health is definitely going down very, very quick sharp here. Right, we still got to be careful of his head, though, okay? Still got to be careful of his head. Oh, there he is, talking to witch. Yeah, halfway there, guys. Halfway there. If we get this done... You guys have got to drop a like rating, okay? That is the deal we are striking today. That is the deal. All right. Okay. Come on. Come on. Holy crap. We are doing so well. We're almost back up to max health here. We might actually do this. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on. The blade staff plus the dart rifle. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely ruining this kid. And he's done. Woohoo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and a Nimbus one. Let's go, dudes. Let's go, man. Oh, man. I can't tell you how hyped I am about that. And banana ranks. Oh, my God. It just continues. Fully automatic banana ranks. Yeah. Absolute death and destruction befalls all of you, sirs. Yeah. Oh my word. Guys, drop a like rating. You haven't, if you haven't done already, you got to do it right now. Okay, that was the deal we struck. Come on, baby. Let's see how many likes we can get for that, quite frankly, amazing fight. Oh, dude. I am so hyped about that. That is one out of three mech bosses, ladies and gentlemen. We did it, though, guys. We freaking did it. We've got a wandering eye kite. I did not know that was a thing, but here we are. Discovering new things even now. Oh, wow. 
Oh, destroyer. Just got destroyed. At long last, we did it. Our first ever mech boss. Let's open this bad boy up. And look at that. Hallowed bars, souls of might, and the mech wagon piece. Very, very nice. Wow. Okay. Okay. By every stretch of the imagination, this has been an out-and-out -out success so far. And we are but, like, eight minutes into the recording, according to OBS. <laughs> it's going to be hard to top that. Side note, this arena is bloody amazing. It really, really is. I'm so glad that I finally put the pedal to the metal and just got it done. It desperately needed doing, and we got it done. And I can't tell how hyped I am about it. If we can get some more banana rangs, side note, that'll be amazing. Whoa! Wait a minute. Hey, I recognize you. Hey, come on. Forbidden armor set. That'll be pretty sick, right? And you don't even appear to be able to freaking take me out the game. Yeah, what a dummy. Yeah. There's so much stuff going on right now. Come on then. There we are. You, just, you literally just have to avoid the tornadoes. And then this gal is like super easy to take down. Ha! Especially when she gets stuck down there and your boy is up here. Yeah. Oh, oh hey. That was actually a bit close. Got to keep our attention paid on this gal. Come on. There we are. One out of three forbidden fragments, ladies and gentlemen. That will give us the mage summoner hybrid set, right? <laughs> hey, guys. I think I've made an inadvertent mob farm here as well. Like, despite the fact me being up here, I'm still getting mobs spawned down below. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah. The groom... Oh, yeah, that's right. We've still got a blood moon going on, huh? Go on, groomy. Get out of here. Hey. Cool. We've got these guys spawning in as well. A little bit of unicorn action. Very, very cool. Hey, it's a rainbow slime. Yo. And he's dead. Yay. Rainbow blocks. Uh, unfortunately, I think the sandstorm event has just ended. So, sadly, we're not going to get any more of those uh, sand elementals spawning. A little bit sad, but ah, well, what can you do, eh? So yeah, guys, finally time to go ahead and uh, take inventory of all of the epic stuff we've managed to get so far this episode. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of it. <laughs> wow. All right, well, let's start off by putting these banners here down. And then we'll start trying to sort everything else out. Because holy poops out, we've got a lot. I came into this episode legitimately with no plans. But here we are. Destroying the destroyer. Taking on blood moons and freaking everything galore. Oh, just epicness, guys. Hey, the steampunker. Selena. Good to meet you. All right, we'll see what she's selling in just a hot second here. I'm just still trying to get my inventory sorted out. What do you have? Uh, the steampunk minecart. Ooh. Decay chamber used for special crafting. Now, as far as I remember... Oh, the Clintaminator. That's not a bad shout. The earlier we start purifying our world, the better the situation is going to be. Because, of course, since we destroyed a bunch of demon altars, there's going to be random patches of underground corruption and hallow all over the place, right? So, trying to purify all of that would probably be a good idea. All right, guys. Time to go ahead and see what kind of stuff we can be making with the hallowed bars. Now, obviously, there's the hallowed armor and the Excalibur and all the sort of OG stuff. But what I want to see is some new stuff. Yeah, we've got the optic stuff right there. Uh, the hallowed... What? The Durendal? What? Okay. Your summons will focus struck enemies. Strike enemies to gain attack speed. 74 summon damage, 9 tag damage. What the devil? Okay, so what else have we got? The hallowed plate mail. Ooh. Lots of cool stuff going on. They completely reworked. Oh, look at that. They got the ancient hallowed armor as well. Nice. So they still got the OG hallowed armor. Wow. Okay. So there's the pickaxe axe, of course, requiring one of each of the mech souls. So we can't do that one right now. Regular Excalibur. We can make that right now if we so wished. Do we want to do that? I don't know. I'm kind of tempted with the Durendal right now. I've never made it. I've literally no idea what it does. Huh. Okay. Shall we? Oh, the Superstar Shooter. <gasps> what? Yeah, we were ones to make that as well, weren't we? Oh, 
Durendal, superstar shooter. Durendal, superstar shooter. All right, we're doing the Durendal, okay? Simply because I haven't done it before. All right, here we go. The Durendal. There it is. Oh, it's your beauty, isn't it? Okay. What? Whoa! It's not fully auto. Ah, oh, man. I wish it was fully auto. That would have been really, really nice. You know what? Real quick, we've had these uh, titanium bars sat around for a long time. And I need to remind myself just how many bars we need for a full set of the frost armor. Or whatever the heck we're going to be making with this thing. So, let's say the forbidden armor. So, 10 plus 20. That's 30. So, 46. So, we've actually got a surplus of six bars here. Very nice. All right, Statson. You might just be one of the NPCs that has lived in our world the longest without dying. Like, how sad is that to say? All right, what should we do first? This? Uh, that's kind of cool. That? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that. That's actually kind of cool. Right, boom. Yes, I'll take it. Six gold for this. Just more damage in general would be nice. Uh, eh, okay. I mean, that's kind of all right. Yeah, that's way more like it. All right, what else do we have here? Banana rings? I don't think you can reforge these. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, the blade staff. Okay, anything that has more damage? There we are. Look at that. Nice. I'm pretty sure you can't really increase the base damage of this by much. So plus 17% damage, I think, is about as high as we're going to get. We do have ourselves the leaf wings here. Okay, 2% damage. I'll take it. I ain't going to complain about it. Uh, Obsidian Shield doesn't even have a reforge on it yet. What the devil's up with that? I'll take armored any day. Okay. What else do we have here? Fledgling Wings. We flat out don't need those anymore. Blimey. This goes from 83 summon damage up to 90 with the summoner emblem. And this now has 10 base damage. So, ooh, this might make quick work of Skeletron Prime? Question mark? I don't really know, if I'm being honest. I have never tried to take down Skeletron Prime with the Blade Staff, so... Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I guess all we can do is give this thing just a little bit of a go, at the very, very least. Uh, do we want... I don't have the ability to dash, is the only thing I'm thinking about. And Skeletron Prime moves very, very quickly. So I think getting the Shield of Cthulhu out might just be in our best interests. I don't know, ma'am. But yeah, I do want to at least attempt Skeletron Prime tonight. If we manage to do this, then I am going to be just absolutely flabbergasted. I'm going to be... Like, my jaw is just going to be on the floor, my dudes. Like, seriously, it's got to be crazy. And, you know, failing everything else, we do have this, frankly, amazing mount, which for some reason I completely forgot we had, which, you know, might just do the job in terms of, you know, keeping us away from Skeleton Prime. I won't lie to you guys, I've definitely got my uh, doubts about being able to take down Skeleton Prime, because in my opinion, I would consider him the hardest of the mech bosses. But uh, we'll still give it a go anyway, just because, you know, we've got the summon anyway. So, buffing up. Boom, 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 boom. We'll go ahead and get all of... Where is it? There we are. Get all these bad boys going. Yeah. Five little knifeys. And we're going to freaking do this thing. Boom, boom. Good. Get absolutely wrecked. All right, here we go. See what we can do here. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. All right, let's see if we can... Yep. Yep. That's actually doing the job kind of nicely here. Whoa, the movement speed is crazy. Come on, baby. Keep tearing up that mech boss. Ha! Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come down here. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Uh-oh. Gotta be careful here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, not too bad. About, what, coming up to a quarter health down here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. He's right there. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Right, boom. All right. Do a little bit of the above and beyond kind of trick here. There we are. Actually, this seems to be working quite well. All right, come on. Here we are. Whoa. Oh, the bouncy. <laughs> the bouncy bouncy is crazy. Here we go. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Keep it going. About a th uh, What? Yeah, I could have sworn I had full health last time I looked. Did something just do a ridiculous amount of damage to me? I thought I was doing really well. I'm going to have to watch that back in editing, guys. That that went south, like, surprisingly quick. Like, extremely surprisingly quick. Can we maybe buy the Papyrus Scarab? Is that something we'll be able to get? Let's have a look, shall we? 
Uh, bewitching table. Oh, there's the pygmy necklace. That could be a good idea. Increase number of minions by one. Okay. Very cool. You know what, guys? I know it sounds a bit crazy, but before the episodes end, I think one of the other things I'd really like to do is try to take on the twins with our blade loadout. I think that might be a good idea, man. We're not going to do it on this night, of course, because, you know, uh, you know, our time is starting to run a little bit low here. But, yeah. Uh, we'll go and make us... We'll go ahead and make ourselves a couple more summoners anyway. And then when the next night comes, we will give this thing a ruddy good shot. How does that sound? Well, there we are, my friends. We can actually make quite a lot of these things. But we need to keep some of the Souls of Light to make ourselves some Skeletron Prime summoners, of course. It requires Souls of Light and Night. So they are all things we need to consider. But uh, yeah, check it out, my friends. This is the loadout we now have. I kind of decided it might actually be an interesting idea to just use the mount... To dodge the green guy's attacks, right? Because, you know, there's a lot of speed to this. Yeah. Could be the way to go. Could be the way to go. I don't know, man. Ah, there it is. Summoning potion. Increases max minions by one. It requires the variegated lard fish. Um. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know where it's caught. I mean, judging by the fact it's green, my logical side would have to say maybe the jungle. Huh. Okay. Well, anyways, like I say, next night, we'll give this thing a go. If it fails, then we know what we must do. Okay. Simple as that. Or, you know, I could always go ahead and catch the variegated lardfish while it's, you know, morning slash daytime. That's probably a good idea. So, I was half right. It's caught in the jungle, but more specifically, the underground jungle. So, we've got ourselves a whopping great pond here, and I'm hoping that it is low enough for us to get this thing on the way, okay? Uh, right, I don't have any blocks, though. So I should probably fix that real quick-like. So I can box myself in. Have no little butt heads trying to kick my little butt. Yeah. All right, so let's get down here. Let's see if we can get some variegated lardfish. Okay, so according to the depth meter, we are indeed in the underground layer. So here's hoping we actually get some variegated lardfish because let's be honest, that's what we're looking for. That and nothing else. Oh, there we go. That's one. Ha <laughs> ha! Fantastic. The more we get, the better things are going to be. All right, guys. So we've got five variegated lardfish and a few crates here and there. Do you know what? For now, I think that's actually going to do the job a real nice like. Okay, so let's go ahead over to our alchemy station here. And let's see about putting uh, that bad boy in there. And we should be able to make ourselves the summoning potion. There we are. Maybe a few of them. Oh, wow. Really? Only five? Ah, we didn't get very lucky on that occasion, did we? 33% chance not to use the freaking chemicals used to freaking make the potion. And we still only get five. Ah, darn it. All right, let's see what we get from here. Flower boots, cobalt bars. Interesting. Okay. And then Orokalkin bars. Huh, okay. So let's sleep the day away and get this final boss battle underway, shall we? So when I actually think about it, we've got the summoning potion. That's one. We've got the armor. That is three. We have ourselves the pygmy necklace. That's another one. So that's a grand total of five. You get one base. So that's six. Plus the bewitching table. That's seven. We'll be able to have seven blades. Woo! That's a lot, isn't it? Death by many thousands of cuts. Oh, snappers. Guys, I'm very, very excited, but I'm also very, very nervous. So let's go ahead and do some fresh spawns here of all of the bladey dudes. Let's go and do that. Use that, 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 that. And now we should be able to get seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are. All right. Let's freaking do this, man. Woo! Come on, then, broskies. The green one is the one we need to take out first, okay? More than anything. Yeah. Up and down, baby. Up and down. That's how we roll. Oh, my God. Their health is freaking absolutely getting ruined here. Wow. Uh, yep. Yeah. Back to the up and down. There we are. Up and down working out uh, fairly okay. Too bad. Oh, no. Oh, we got caught on a solid block there. Honestly, though, guys, if we can take on the green eye first, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Come on. Come on. Come on, greenie. Come on, greenie. Okay. Okay. Come on. This is the guy. This is the guy we need to focus on. Okay. He's going to do his dashy thing. Dashy, dashy. Okay. Oh, we're not looking very good at it. Come on. Come on. Alright. 
Do it. Yeah! The green one's nearly out. The green one's nearly out, guys. Come on. Green one. Die, greeny. Die, greeny. Ow. I think the green one's out. He is. Oh, shoot. Hang on, we've got a chance here. The green one is by far the most annoying one to take out. Come on, baby. Oh, look at that health bar, man. Look at that health bar. Oh, it's draining. It's freaking draining. <laughs> oh, baby. We might actually have this. Oh, there we go. There we are. There we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how we roll. <laughs> the blade stuff. The freaking blade stuff. Look at his health go down, man. Oh my god. And he's done. Let's go. We did it. That's two out of three mech bosses here, ladies and gentlemen. Opening up the bag for Souls of Sight 26 Hallowed Bars. And holy poop sack. That'll do it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's very action-packed episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I very much appreciate it. I mean, come on. We took down two mech bosses today. If you haven't dropped a like, then I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Get on with it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future episodes here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy with the progress we made today and I really do hope you guys are as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next episode.